Hi, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your Raspberry Pi Zero into a password cracking device. Um, again, it's basically it's acting as a, as a keyboard. And um, just let you know that uh, this is just a tutorial. I don't advocate uh, any sort of illegal activity or, 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 or any hacking. Uh, this is just for educational purposes only. So I won't, I, I'm not liable for how, however you use this information. Um, yeah, and I, I, th well, I think it's interesting to learn though. So, but, uh, so let's get into it. Let's get into the code. Okay, so um, oh, actually, before the code, you should know that there are documents outlined that, uh, out in the internet that exist. So you just all have to do is go to Google and type in password list, and then you'll see like these huge, um, these huge lists of passwords, the most commonly used passwords. And um, so there's no need to make a password list. You can just copy and paste it from here, or just download it. I've heard a lot of good things about this uh, this list, the Rock U text. If you type in uh, if you type in rock U, I'm sure you're gonna see that text file. And I, apparently, that's the password list that the most people use, um, and uh, it's supposed to be highly effective. It's 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 probably uh, it's it's taken by millions and millions of users, I assume. So, and then uh, you're gonna make uh, documents like this. I can make a password document, and you're gonna make an action document, and be using these action do uh, a password document and action documents it together in order for you to uh, let's say to crack a, a, at a login page or any sort of so in the login page you'll see something like uh, the login where you enter your your login information and you'll see another uh, box called password so you enter your password information and uh, you may want to do an action in between such as enter um, or, or whatnot so um, yeah it's just let's get into code and you'll see so the very first thing we need to do okay this so basically this is um this is this is um the same code as we had in part four I believe part four not part five so in part four this is the same code so um all this should still be uh you should all you should have all this if you've done the previous video you should have all this code already um all we're gonna do is just add on a little more functionality to it so the very first thing we're gonna do is we are going to make more paths. So we're gonna make a um, path password. Yeah, okay. well let's just call path pass. <laughs> Let me make it left a little bit easier. So it's gonna be os path dot join, and we're gonna you're gonna join the current directory with the doc the text document that we're gonna create. When, uh, I think I need my text document pass word. Uh, is it password? Uh, what I named this document? I named it password doc text. So we're just gonna name this document password doc text, and we're gonna make uh, two more paths to the uh, to other documents. And um, over here, we're just gonna paste this, and then over here we're gonna paste this again. So this is pass the password document. This will be passed to the action action one document and this will be uh, the path to the action to document and um, we'll, and then we're just going to rename that to action one and this to action two and inside these action documents I, I believe I just have enter uh, as, as a command so here's my action one document it just, it just has enter here so basically after it tries the login it's going to hit enter so you have these paths right here. Um, now let's go down here. In this interpret function, we need to alter it slightly. All we're going to do is just com comment, or you can delete or comment out this this final line, because here it's uh, it's translating the um, the enter the the slash n, and we don't want to do that automatically. We want to you want the, our our action document to do that for us, because there may be some cases where you made it you need, you need to be more elaborate. Of what actions need to be taken after the login or after you uh, after the password column or uh, where you enter your password so the function we are going to make we're just going to call it uh, well let's, let's call it cracking and and inside here we are going to take a login we're going well, we're just going to call it login so that our, our login information and uh, inside this function, we need to open those documents. So we made the path to those documents here, these paths here. Now we need to open those documents and save all its contents into a variable. Uh, more specifically, we're saving them into a, a, a list variable. So let us do this with 
Oh, before we do that, we, let, let, we have to give um. We have to give this uh. You know, we we want to know what the login information is because we need to log into into whatever place you want to log into. So we're just gonna name log login. So that's that that's what we need to do there. And then now we're gonna open those uh documents. So with open. And we're gonna open the first document, which is the path to pass. And we're gonna go into read mode. And as I'm mean, just I'm just gonna name it F out. I should be using this more uh, regularly. F out as in file out. And over here we're gonna uh, well let's call it um uh, var variable pass var pass and it's going to be um, f out dot read lines I assume we're just reading lines and uh, yeah that's it that's all we need to do so again this is a list this is a list of uh, this is a list of passwords so this this variable contains a list of passwords and we need to do the same thing um, over and well, over and over again for the other documents. So we're just going to copy and paste that here, and we're going to do the same thing over here. So we're opening up three documents and we're saving them to variables. This will be a uh, action one. This one here will be action two. And um, we're just going to change this to action one. Because we made the path earlier, and this will be uh, action two. Here, so we're, just, we're all we're doing in, in these lines here, in these variables, we're creating these we're creating these lists here, and we're just opening up documents. Uh, these documents here: password document, action document, and action two documents. Here, and this is these are just the paths to those documents. And we're oh, down over here. We're just opening them up and putting putting them into a variable. That's all we're doing, and over here we're gonna make a for list for, and I guess we're gonna use a for list for the password. Uh, pass, no, not path pass, but um, var. Well, actually, we can name, we can name it anything. What is it's called? Let's call it um, pass. Let's call it that password in, and then now this is gonna be our list, our password list. So that's var pass. This is a, again, this is a list. And the very first thing we want to do, the type in, uh, we're gonna use the interpret function that we made earlier. Interpret, or we're not even we're not well. Yeah, we're gonna use that in interprets. And we want to interpret the very first thing as soon as we uh, as soon as we are a web page, we want to input our login information. So we're just gonna type in log, and we made that earlier uh, here. Log again uh, when we uh, when we run it, um, we're gonna run it down here. We're gonna type in uh, crack. Cracking and whatever login information you want, or whatever whatever login is, uh, it could be like Joe. At, listen, often most websites or most devices use uh, emails as their logins. So something. Dot com, and when you run this, it's gonna run. It's gonna try to crack. So the first, the very first thing is gonna enter the the login information. That's what this line does. The next line. Um, well, that's, it's, we're, we're going to be using this code, uh, this this part, this code like four times. So you might as well just copy and paste four times. Control V, Control V, and Control V. There you go. So I put it four times. So, sorry, <laughs> I know it's, uh, I shouldn't be moving the the mouse a lot or the. But okay, so we're going to be entering the login information here, over here, action one. Here, the password. And here, action two. Action two, I, it's, it's likely you just enter as well. So, um, yeah, and I think that's about it. Um, so, it's gonna try. So, basically, this is all you need to do, all you need to try to crack um, a website or, or any sort of device um, you want. And you're gonna have to, you have to make these documents here. Um, like, for instance, my password document, I only have three things in here. And this is my action document. This is what happens after. Um, after the previous uh, interpret, so he's going to enter the he's going to enter the um, the login information, and then uh, after the lo uh, login information, it's just going to use the enter. It's going to hit enter. And um, let's see if there's anything else that I need to do. I think that's about everything. 
Uh, yeah, and that's about it. That's all. That's all you need to know. And again, I'm not responsible for how you use this information. This information is for educational purposes only.